I get mixed signals over a great many people, including Christine Pavlina, because people don't know if you're actually a fraud, absolute fraud, or whether you have some kind of belief in it. And some people say you believe in it just because you have marketing skills. Well, that was your previous career. You had a bit of a breakdown. You couldn't cope with life because of all the pressure and you latched on to something that you thought was kind of groovy. A lot of people do that. So it may well be that Christine is genuine. And by genuine, I mean, she's not really psychic. She's not really spiritual, a medium or anything of that kind. She doesn't really speak to angels. She would like to believe that she does. That's pretty much it. That, that's the best case scenario. A person who's either deluded or just lying to herself because she wants to believe that these things are true. But I personally think that's not quite the case. She may well believe in some of it. <laughs> she may well have certain beliefs, certain hang-ups. It's hard to tell, isn't it? It's like I've said before, you cannot analyse people on the internet. You have too little information. You can analyse what they put out there. Can you truly say what they're like in their person? Can you psychoanalyse them? No. You can't say a person's a narcissist. I mean, you can say that, but you can't know that. You could say, oh, she's histrionic. You could say that if you wish, but you can't know it. And that's the problem. Where do we draw the line? What do we know? Is she making money off it? Yes. She's got a business out of it? Yes. Does that mean she doesn't believe a single word of it? No. So back to square one. And without further information, we're simply stuck here pointing out the obvious. That psychics don't really work. That she's making money off her work. And she's using a lot of ideas to get attention. These are the things we know. I picked the wrong week to quit sniffing blue.